Um, good afternoon. My name is Dr. Tony Maxudi, Naperville Rehab Clinic. We are here with uh, Dr. Ublis, he's a neurologist. Uh, Dr. John Seren, he is in internal medicine. And we're having Dr. Domingo over there. He's, he's an expert in the, in the field of uh, stem cell PRP and super injection. And we have Miss June, he, she's a nurse practitioner and she's gonna do the procedure for us. We're gonna go through the procedure step by step. I have had issues with my elbow. I lifting for past five, six weeks ago. I guess that's when I injured it. I think I tore some uh, my, micro uh, tear of my ligament, the muscles of my elbow. You wanna call it tennis elbow. So they're gonna go through taking some blood. They are, they're injecting PRP, plasma rich, uh, platelet rich plasma uh, today. Uh, Miss June, she's gonna do the drawing. We're gonna spin the spin the blood. We're gonna have a three le three different levels of. We have a plasma, buffy coat, and uh, we're gonna get red blood cells. The one that we're gonna inject in my elbow is going to be um, the buffy coat, which is basically plasma uh, rich uh, platelets. Okay, and Doctor uh, Doctor Domingo is gonna step by step. He's gonna talk about what we're gonna do. Here's our platelet-rich plasma kit, and I'm going to pull up necessary parts for our blood draw. So, so far, so good. And we're getting a little bit of uh, blood going over there. We're going to fill that tube as much as possible. Then we're going to spin it for around eight minutes um, at, uh, what, what's the? 3,500 RPM. At 3,500 RPM. So here we go. Red blood cells, separation gel, and here's your plasma. Mm -hmm. You can't really see a pure delineation because of the color between the platelet rich and the platelet poor, but the platelet rich cells at the bottom. So there's about two mLs of platelet rich and about three mLs of platelet so poor. So you'll take those bottom two mLs to see. I'm going to take withdraw it all and I'll show you how I separate it. All right, okay. Uh, different applications though. Platelet poor is perfectly fine. Like if I was doing a knee, I, the knee could handle all six mLs, so I'll use the platelet rich and the platelet poor. You use because they have a larger volume. Yes, it's just a bigger joint. So what I'm going to do now, there's a vacuum in here to make my life easier. I'm going to use this micro needle. So I can open it just to relieve pressure. And in this case, you can come up from this this angle. If it's easier. Okay. It's all your problem. I'll withdraw. There's still a little pressure. I don't think I put the needle in the micro needle all the way. And I'll try to withdraw all of it. Okay. That's a wrench. Do a little bit of a transfer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to let it settle for a little bit. I want the plate with rich to sit, settle to the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Again, you want the two mLs, the purest, the plate with rich plasma for smaller joints. Since we're doing his elbow, that's why I want to do this. <coughs> if it was his knee, I would inject this whole syringe into his knee. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> so, you want to palpate your injection point? It with your fingernail, you're gonna go to the right. Yeah. Iodine swab. So you don't feel the pinprick. That's right. <laughs> Put it all the way. Push the button all the way down. And we're gonna spray till the skin and the hair turns white. You can't see it in the area.
Okay. Good. Where it's supposed to go. Yeah. Um, it was not to the bone because it would feel if it hits the bone, it would feel. She went right around it. I could feel that it was right around it. It was very good. Uh, thank you. By the way, I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> uh, the whole process actually was done within. It takes around the most half hour. Half hour. With by the time we draw mm -hmm. and by the time you spins and yeah. the injection, it takes half hour. It is painless. It is basically the shot over here. This one is just. Blood blood drop, yeah. blood drop. Mm -hmm. This one is like getting a shot for either you know yeah. diabetic blue or shot. flu yeah. shots or anything like that. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. So it feels good. I'm gonna come back later on and you know do it next Sports week or so. I'm not gonna do any exercises. I'm not gonna irritate the joints. I'm not gonna irritate the uh, irritate the tissue for a week, right? For one week. Just the arm or the whole body? No, just okay. my arm. This is the part that I'm gonna basically stay away from. Okay. Uh, what is supposed to be feeling? Uh, we, we talked about it a little bit earlier that this area is going to feel a little bit warmer because we want to see a little bit of inflammation going on. Mm -hmm. We're going to start seeing a little bit more blood flow. Okay. We're going to talk about it um, and we're going to put it in a, on a video. So, uh, talk about it. Uh,